Welcome to the wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. In tonight's shave, I am using my Parker. And now this is the Parker Best Silver Steel. And it is fantastic. It is Swedish steel. And that is quarter hollow. Nice big old 7 8 blade. I like it. Really good shaver. And for a soap tonight, Stubble Trouble rhymes with orange. And this is just a fantastic citrusy scent that uh, I'm going to really enjoy tonight. Yep. And I've had that puck gloomy, like always. We're going to pour that off and put that on as pre shave. Yep. That's what we do. There we go. Nice. Okay. And that scent is just yeah, fantastic. It really is. Absolutely fantastic. And for a brush tonight, I am using my Omega 10,098. Oh yeah. There we go. Alright. Let's get that brush loaded up. Yeah. Alright. How you doing? Yeah, yeah, I hope you're well and the world's treating you good. And I hope you're in high spirits. We have made it to the midweek shave. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that means weekend's right around the corner. So that's good. Definitely. Definitely going to be good. Yeah. And uh, how your shave's doing? You, you, have you been having some good shaves? I know I've been looking in the comments and I'm hearing that people are having good shaves. Sometimes great shaves. Fantastic shaves. Yeah. And reports of BBS. Yes, sir. Very nice. Quite good. All right. I'm pretty sure we're done with that. So let me... Clean it off and we'll put most of that on the brush and then the rest of this we're going to just put on. Go ahead and add that to our pre-shave routine. There we go. Nice. Okay. Now. Let's get those hands dried off. That's always going to be a good thing. There you go. Check this out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good stuff. I'm telling you. Really good stuff. Nice and thick and pasty. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. That's the way I like it. Because from there, we can kick it up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Starting to make the magic happen. That's it. Getting there. I'm going to put a little bit more water on this. Because it can take it. And it'll make it even better. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Nice. Look at that. Look at that beautiful sheen. I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but it is nice.
nice and peaky. Excellent, good cushion. Fantastic, fantastic. Yep. <clears throat> All right, this is pass one, which is primarily with the grain, but let me remind you, I do Shave of the Day videos every Wednesday and Sunday, so stop on by and see us, all right? Let's do this. Now this, like I say, is primarily with the grain, and it works for me as far as the first pass. Okay. Uh, blew right through it. Look at that. Nice. And check this out. Look at the peaks on this. This is incredible. Really good soap. Adam there at Stubble Trouble does a fantastic job. Now, I'm getting ahead of myself, but that's alright. We'll switch back. There we go. That's got it. Okay. Now we're switching hands to the other side.
very good. Yep. Now let's get that cleaned up. We'll finish this off here. There we go. Yeah, you know, I get very excited when I'm shaving. Really enjoy it. So sometimes I jump the gun and switch hands before it's time. But that's all right. It's all good. All good. As long as we're enjoying the shave, that's what matters. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Wow, and look at that. Just blew right through it. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. All right, now this is pass two, and this is primarily going to be uh, against the grain on my cheeks here. This is going to be across the grain on my neck. Yeah, and uh, you know, it'll be good. And that'll finish those cheeks off nicely. Yeah. I do, by the way, straight razor edge Friday specials on the first and third Friday of every month. So stop on by and you can check them out. How I get ideas for my straight razor edge Friday special is from you. Yes, you right there. Yeah, I'm I'm talking to you. Uh huh. Yeah, and you go ahead and put a question in the comments, a suggestion an idea for a Straight Razor Edge Friday special, and we will make it happen, all right? And I'm giving you a shout out for doing it as well. So just go right ahead and in the comments, you know what to do. All right, this is looking good. Yeah, I tell you, you are the best. Come up with some of the best questions and suggestions. Just really good. All right, look at that soap. Is that fantastic or what? Got a little close there, but it's all right. I just maybe hit a little bump. No big deal. Yep. It happens. There's that.
Nice. too. Uh, they're really good. For me, uh, I, I think they're actually even maybe more comfortable of a shave and more forgiving. Maybe hit a bump there too. Yeah, looks like I did. I tend to hit more bumps when I wait like uh, you know three days between shaves that kind of thing but it's all it'll be fine no big deal complete yep okay now let's get that rinsed off see how we did oh wow oh yeah nice and smooth those cheeks are right where we want them yep very good very good all right, now, this is the half pass. We're gonna do my jawline and my neck, and that's going to finish this off, yeah. And I have also been hearing that uh, a lot of people seem to be doing pretty good with a two and a half pass shave, so that's good, you know, less, you have to irritate the skin, the better off you are. Yep. And I'm going to just go ahead and get some of that soap. And we're going to put it right there again on that. 
And that, like I say, that'll take care of that. It's not a big deal. That's just a little bump. No big thing. So this is pass three, which is primarily going to be across the grain, right through here, but against the grain on my jawline and my neck, okay? And you can go ahead and click here to see the half pass revealed, all right? Totally in detail there. You'll have a lot more going on. Get that where I know where it is. I can maybe hit another little bump there too, down on the down on my neck. And put some soap on that while we're at it. Yep. Yeah, it's not a big deal. So, not a problem. And get that razor nice and clean. This little bit here, yep. There we go. Another shave in the books, yep. That's it. All right. Now, get that rinsed off. See how we did. Oh yeah, wow. Oh, that's good. That is really good. Yep. Oh, nice. All right. Now, alum everywhere. Now, the alum is astringent and antiseptic. So it's really good for your skin right after you shave. So, generally speaking, I always use it. And then I'll just dry that off. Just like that. And for our aftershave tonight, there's Lemon Witch Hazel. Lemonade for the face. Oh yeah. Yeah, it is good stuff. Oh. There we go. Oh yeah, nice. And I just put that everywhere. I do. So good. 
What a wonderful scent as well. Now for our cologne kind of thing tonight. Lucky Tiger. And this is aftershave and face tonic. And it is wonderful. And this has got a really nice orange scent to it. So it's going to go well with that soap. That's good. That is good. Okay. And then to top off this shave, Nivea Post Shape Balm. Oh yeah. The Sensity version. And uh, you know, it's just something I always do. Trying to take care of that skin. Which we should do. And again, I put that everywhere. Absolutely. Good for you. All right. Hey, thank you so much. You click right up here to see the best one pass shave you've ever seen for a beginner. All right. Thank you. I really appreciate you stopping by for this shave. It's always good to see you. Click right over here to see my latest video. Click down here on the video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.